Now workers from the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife are busy working tossing the carcasses of countless salmon throughout forests and nearby streams. It's a month-long program to help keep our forest ecosystems thriving. And KZI 9 news reporter Noah Chavez shows us why these dead fish are key to a forest survival. If I could describe what it's like to hold a dead salmon carcass, I would say that, well, it's a lot heavier than it looks. The smell is just tremendous and, well, a little scary to look at, but the officials with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife say these dead salmon carcasses hold such an important role in ensuring the survival of the many local ecosystems around the Willamette National Forest, and that's why they got to chuck them. One after another. What you witnessed was something called the Nutrient Enrichment Program. And you have to imagine Oregon before there were dams. Fish could go to the ocean, they could swim all the way up to the streams and creeks, and with them, their bodies would be full of nutrients. Once the salmon would lay their eggs and die off the wild inland, their remains would be eaten by the living local wildlife, which in turn keep the nutrients in these environments. Since the 1980s, the ODFW has worked with Oregon fish hatcheries to take the freshly dead salmon and throw them in rivers and wooded areas around the Willamette National Forest. Beforehand, there would be two or three thousand of these per hatchery sitting around in totes like this after a spawn. So uh, pretty early on, they, they understood it was it was really wasteful not to do something with these nutrient loads. Uh, yeah. Oh my, yeah, oh heavy. my gosh. <laughs> Well, I'm just, I have the mic on, so I'm just talking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Twenty I know these do smell really bad. <laughs> and with one spot down, it's on to the next, all across the forest. So typically we do the north and south Saniam River in my district, and right around 12 spots per river. So we try and spread out the carcasses pretty far. Now coming up on our special edition of KZI 9 News, I'll show you why the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife is urging the public to stay as far away from these carcasses as they say these fish can be deadly. Reporting in the Willamette National Forest, Noah Chavez, KZI 9 News. All right.